Hello friends, welcome to BISVTraining.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you some of the exciting feature of Hypian Financial Management new release called 11124. I am sure many of you are quite excited to know what are the new in HFM 11124. Okay. So in this example, in the today webinar, I am going to show you live example. We will compare 11123 and 11124. So with the, this HFM release, there are many new features you have. A couple of them I'm going to show you in today's webinar. And we have a series of webinar in which I'll show you all new HFM new features. Okay. So we start with first three options, first four options. Uh, the first new feature which you find in 11.124 interface, you have a profile editor on the web. Unlike in previous release where you need to create profile in a desktop client, you can create and modify a profile remaining in HFM 11.124. Okay, let me log into both uh, environment and show you. I've got two virtual machine. I show you live over here. I've got one virtual machine which has got PS3 11123, 11.123, 26. I open my HFM from here under administration, consolidation administration, right? And I also open the first window which you see list of all the messages, error messages you have. Okay, and then I open my another. IP environment called PS IP 11124. Okay, so I go to navigate administration and uh, consolidation administration. Right. This is my PS4. You can go to help and see about HFM about Oracle EPMA. So you find over here 11124079. Okay. Now you pay attention over here. You got you see two new features called profile editor and configure. TSN. These two options are not, these two options display below application. But if you see your PS3 release, you don't find these two options. Under application, there is no option called configuration, DSN, and um, your profile editor. So in order to create profile, what you used to do in previous release, you go to desktop client, and there is undefined application profile, and you typically define languages. You define uh, your year dimension, your period dimension, and your view dimension. Right? Year, period, and view dimension gets created automatically as part of your period dimension. Right? Now there is no absolutely no, no such need of creating application profile in your desktop client. You can just go to your profile editor, right click, open it, and you find this option called Either you can create new application profile or use existing profile. I'll open an existing profile, browse it to my existing profile and show you. The first screen is as often you have languages, you can add more language. Okay. You go to next, you can uh, add new or modify your time period. Okay. And number of years, start year. And um, you go to next screen and there you will find, let me add here over here go to next and define your view dimension so view dimension gets created automatically so this feature profile editor you know, enable you to create and modify profile remaining in your browser and you don't need your desktop client at all this is one exciting feature now let's see the another one the second exciting feature we drawn my attention was multiple selection load files now we can simple drag and drop and load multiple files together when I log into my um, PS4, I open my application, 11.124, I open my application and uh, what I find over here under load section, load, when I open to my load data, right click and open it, I see, you know, you have a window over here called multiple selection. I can simple drag and drop multiple data source file, drag and drop and these all files get loaded over here. I can simply scan and load them. Right. So multiple selection is one feature which drawn my attention. If you go to your previous release, you don't find this option. Under load section, although the menu remains same, you open your application. Um, you open your application and uh, it takes a little time to open it. And one more thing which I liked about my new release, performance, it's really good. We are doing application benchmarking now. Once I get all the statistics, I will share with you. 
so I go to uh, sorry load section and uh, I open my data load section and what I see over here there is no such option called multiple selection this option is only available in 11.124 third option is pretty small but really uh, you feel good you can reorder your tabs right click and you see reorder tab and this way you decide what what column you like to see and what column you do not like to see in which order you like to see that okay. such a simple option you also see under consolidation administration called configure DSN configure DSN there is no such option in your PS3 11.1.2.3 there is no such option called configure DSN right so configure DSN allow you um, to create DSN connection in case you want to export your data from HFM to external world. So I already created one DSN over here. I can simply click and edit this and show you what option it has. And edit my data source. I need to define data source name, data database type. So far it support Oracle, SQL Server and DB2. I select Oracle, define my SID, username and password, host name and IP, uh, your port number. Click on test and test successful. I can use this connection to export data uh, from my application. Go to your application and you can go to export option. So the extract option. Click on extract. Click on data. Open. Um, and select a database in which format you want. Database format and flat file. I select database format. And you remember we have option called metadata export. Only selected metadata standard as space format for extended analytics you can export data from HFM put into as space and do extended analytics or maybe in warehouse style schema format okay. when you select this you also have an option to use existing template I create two template okay. template will ease your job select it and simple click on extract so these are three options um, are really adding a great value and making my you know data development process easy we continue to talk about, about more features, I mean more features in subsequent videos, configuration setting, there's a new utility has come called Metata Merge Utility and you can call uh, Financial Management Analytics remaining in HFM. For today I'm going to stop here and open for your question. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos and new features about other hype products like hype planning, hype financial management, performance scorecard, strategy planning and other products. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and enjoy 1000 plus videos. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us. For training and consulting inquiry, please visit to our site. And thank you very much for joining today's session. Have a great day ahead.